Yo, yo, what's good, people? It's Dante, and I'm back again. And I got what it takes to rock the mic, right? <laughs> a little old school hip hop for you guys, man. So, man, what we got, man? Hope you guys are having a good day and a good night. But we got um, Justice League Flash, Ezra Miller. Ezra Miller is the Flash, man. Barry Allen from um, the Justice League, the Justice Justice League movie. Man, I'm getting tongue tied, man. As you can already see, I got the other two versions of the Flash back there: Injustice and like um, standard, maybe New Fifty Two kind of version. Eh, you know, whatever. Injustice Two, by the way. But uh, I'm gonna compare them all. But uh, I got some issues with this Flash, man. I know, I know, only twenty bucks. Yeah, yeah. But um, just this right here, it, I don't know. It kind of looks like Ezra, kind of not. I just got issues, man. I don't. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, I do like the suit, though. I mean, the overall design of the suit. Period. Like, it's cool. It's decent. Um, but another thing I have, another issue I have with this Flash, or with this, uh, not this Flash, not this version of Flash, but with this particular figure, is um, once again, uh, when you get him, he's he's gonna be like pre-posed in a package, like in a standard running pose. I don't like that because what happens is when you pre-pose figures in the package. It warps them. So if you can see his draws or his under whatever underwear, whatever you want to call them, his bottom portion right here, this side is warped. Like it's open. This side is closed. So I'm gonna have to hit that with an air, like a hair dryer or the hot water treatment. But yeah, you can see how that like is wide open right there, and that's not because when he was in a package, his leg was up like that in the running pose. So if you are a a toy maker and you so just so happen to come across this video or if you guys know people who are you know in the industry please tell them to please tell them um not to pre-pose the figures okay put the figure in the box in a neutral position like that especially if parts of the figure are like soft plastic like this and can easily be warped or manipulated or molded by just like pressure or just like being in a pose you know i don't like that another thing is that um about this figure that i don't like i'm starting off with the negative man that's crazy because that's not like me but i'm kind of you know I i'm happy that i got this figure but at the same time and there's some issues this again we're back to this part right here it's really big like it looks like a diaper almost you see what i mean like when you compare it to like this one you know what I mean? How it kind of like it's it's nice form fitting to his waist and everything like that. It's not all like soft and squishy. It's like it's a little bit more firm. Like he's been doing squats. His glutes are way more firm. All right. And then even here, like his glutes are way more firm. This little these draws, his underwear portion, it's way firm. This right here, it's just loose goose my goose. Like what is even going on right here? It looks like a diaper. Look how it moves and. Ah, man, he's going to be running and twerking at the same time. Like, come on. I don't like that at all. I, I just wish it was like just like smaller, like tighter around his waist. Like you can like kind of pinch it and pull it tight. I wish it was like that. But anyway, though, man, let's get back to him. Show you guys what the head looks like. There's a head scarf. I got a couple of paint issues. Um, and you, you'll see them in just a minute. So that's what the face looks like. It's not that sharp. There's some like... I don't know which one to call it. Like they like they messed up on his face with the flesh where the flesh tone meets the mask. Like it's not perfect, but twenty bucks. But yeah, I know twenty bucks. But still, it's my twenty bucks. All right. So I do like the way they have some. Uh, they sculpted some uh, texture into the suit. That's pretty dope. I do like that. So as far as articulation goes, arms going around like that. Left, right, exorcism right there. All the way up about that high all the way well there's no all the way down just down it like that but all the way back like that then tilting so we got some extra like we got some real good necky articulation right there man uh there is a butterfly joint but you're not going to get much use out of it because it's i mean in like that but so you can do it's like his yoga kind of pose where he puts his hands together like this you know how it is you know how he did that in the movie like that he puts his hands together like a prayer kind of pose you can do that and so we have all the standard you know um all the standard points of articulation for mcfarland so like the bicep cut is right there he has a double jointed elbow and it's like a ratchet joint so you can feel it like click as you're adjusting this thing you can feel it click all the way down all the way up okay you can actually hear it too we didn't get any more hands we only got one set of hands and there's like and there's just these open like 
these open like jazz hands that's all we got we didn't get anything else um usually mcfarlane figures do not come with extra hands but they do give you a couple effects so that's cool so i give you guys a close-up look at what the suit looks like on the side check that out got like a little gold paint dripping onto the um the the red part right here the maroon part and then on this side this side is missing gold paint like it's like this one got all the coats of gold paint and this side didn't get many coats of gold paint at all so that's another thing i don't like about that um and what i've found over time is that these fingers like if they're not like posed in like a neutral position like they'll warp and bend also like you see how soft they are so you kind of got to be careful with this guy man because because of that like i've seen that before where fingers get all weird so be careful about that um as far as the waist articulation goes we have zero crunch forward and that's because of the way the suit is designed um a little bit a tiny bit going back like that's all you're going to get from that top part of the abdomen now from the, the smaller part right here you can bend forward about that much not much at all but if you bend them way way back you get a gap in between right there you can see how he's put together and you only get that much back okay um another thing about my particular flash is that maybe it's not maybe it was just the, how the draws were but i felt like his torso was not centered on his legs like i was trying to like you know tweak them that way and tweak them that way but you see, you see what i mean maybe it was just i didn't have them like in the middle but you can do this and he moves a lot of figures do that though all right so as far as the legs go they go up pretty far so that's good and they go back pretty far also in unnatural motion and then you gotta watch out because once you do that you smush the, the diaper really well in the back you don't want to smush that diaper man because there could be some pee pee in there or some or some flash poopies <laughs> all right double jointed with the knees with that ratchet joint just like all mcfarland figures or mostly all uh dc mcfarland figures actually i think it's all of them are like that they all have like these these kind of ratchet style joints and like this ball joint on the, uh, the ankle they all have that and we got some toe bend right there some unnatural toe pivot which is cool i like it it's cool it's good to have he can do the good old on your mark get set go kind of pose so let's see inward like that outward like that and we do have a hole in the foot for that stand that they give us so that's cool that they give us a stand and we have lightning across the shoes right there and right there all right so that's cool nice little nice little designs right there man but um the paint is just okay but i do like again i said this before i do like how the sculpt like the suit is sculpted you know what i mean like the armor this uh space age nasa armor that's gonna prevent him from burning up i do like that so that's cool as far as accessories go i'll show you guys we only got well you know we got our little stand back there we have four lightning effects in the flash card okay oh a flash card <laughs> you know like a flash card like it's okay never mind so yeah i just wanted to show you guys this uh this flash right here man there's not there's really not much to it it's simple it's 20 bucks i believe it's at target walmart you know basically like pretty much anywhere these guys are being sold you're gonna find this one so once again we got injustice 2 flash which is he's the bulkier of the bunch and then we have like our standard uh flash or new 52 version whatever you want to call this flash so these are the flashes all right so these are your flashes right here man another thing i want to go over with you guys real quick and just show you what i got is bam right now uh we're gonna call this marvel legends it's dante right mezco not mezco a uh, walmart target exclusive marvel legend it's dante so thanks to a couple people in the action figure community i was able to obtain a head sculpt of myself all right so that's that's cool look at that look at my head like this is me yo this is me the skin tone is dead on the beard like the no everything is dead on it's pretty much a 3d scan of my face and um i'm gonna give credit to the people who helped me obtain this right here on this side of the screen these three guys helped me get um marvel legends dante right here it's dante right here you know what i mean so this is a 112 scale head on a war machine body and i'm gonna be able to put this head on anybody that looks pretty uh pretty decent so i wanted to show you guys that man i want to share what you know what i kind of look like in an action figure form so yeah that's kind of like you know how i look so this is cool man like uh, someone saw this and they knew it was me even before i said it was me so that's how you know it's some good stuff man i like it man i'm 
I didn't pay like a hundred, two hundred, three hundred bucks, man. You know, I, I I got everything done for under uh under wow under I think like sixty bucks, and I'm I'm not mad about that, man. I'm I'm pretty happy, man. I'm pumped that I have a I have a me now, like I can put myself in my pictures now. So yeah, wanted to share that bit of information with you guys, man. This is a little win for me, man. So I'm pretty excited, man. But yeah, back to Flash, man. So uh, thanks for stopping by taking a good look at the justice league flash ezra miller and uh like subscribe all that kind of fancy good stuff man talk to you later see ya